Hello guys and welcome to my channel. As you know guys, this is one of the video of the series of video that I am doing here on my channel to create a drone right from the scratch for the aerial photography. Today in this video guys, I am going to do a quick unboxing of this Metexas M8Q5883 GPS module with compass. Also guys, I will be going through some of the technical specifications and features that this has to offer. Towards the end of the video guys, I will also be telling you how to connect this GPS module onto your flight controller. So guys, if you are new to assembling the drone, ensure that you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or specifications that I have to share. Before we move further guys, if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos let's get started so guys before we go through some of the technical specification and features of this gps module from metexas let us quickly see what is there in this packaging so when you purchase this metexas gps module with compass it comes in this transparent packaging with the barcode on the top it says Metexas M8Q5883 GPS compass modules. It is a combo of the GPS module and the compass module, which is both inbuilt in this small form factor. So here is the transparent packaging guys. Now let us open the transparent packaging and see the contents inside. Inside the transparent packaging, you can see the GPS module itself in this anti-static packing guys, so as to prevent it from static charges and damage during the transport. So this is something really nice guys, which it comes with. So you can see on the top of the packaging, it says it is GNSS and compass module. The GPS module is GNSS SAM M8Q and the compass module is QMC 5883 l so these are the two different modules which are combined here in one package and it is inbuilt so guys matexis also makes some of the gps module without the compass but here for my use case guys i will be needing the gps module with compass as gps module will be able to give you the location and exact position of your drone but it will not be able to tell you the orientation or direction in which your drone is facing so it is very important guys if you want to do a directional based tracking of your drone ensure that guys you use gps module with compass so that in addition to the position of the drone you will also be able to know the orientation of the drone which it is facing so that you can direct your drone the direction in which it needs to move relative to the position where it is there so it is super important guys to understand what kind of feature your gps module offers so that you can do the navigation depending upon that so any gps module without the compass will not be able to tell you the direction in which it is facing so you will not be able to tell which direction it needs to move so as to reach to its destination relative to its position now let us open this packaging and see the contents inside so inside the packaging guys you get one of these transparent shrinkable cover guys so as to protect your gps module from weather this is your GPS module itself guys. This is really small form factor guys. As you can see in my hand, it has both the module inbuilt. It has GPS and compass both. So it will be able to tell you the exact position and also the orientation of your drone. So this is also something really nice. And it comes with the jumper cable for the connection to your flight controller. This is a six pin micro GST that it comes with, with the length of the wire 20 centimeters. Even if your GPS module is placed far away from your flight controller, this length of the wire is sufficient enough to be able to connect this GPS module onto your flight controller. Now let us quickly see what are the physical specifications of the GPS module. As you can see guys this GPS module is really really small and it has a lot of components already inbuilt into this GPS module. From the top side uh, you can see the GPS module is SAM M8Q. So this is the serial number of the GPS module or the model number of the GPS module which is inbuilt. This is the antenna which is inbuilt on top of your GPS processor that it has. And also you can see here the pin diagram which is also shown here. It says it has 5 volt ground RX, TX, DA and CL. RX and TX is for GPS module and DA and CL is your serial port for reading the coordinates from your magnetometer or your orientation meter. On the back side guys as you can see it is marked with X and Y axis so it will be able to tell you 
exactly where the orientation is as you can see guys here you have small battery also in build so it remembers the number of satellites that it has uh, found in a given area during the search so next time whenever you boot up your drone it will quickly lock on to the satellites for getting the GPS connection instead of searching them again right from the beginning. So this is going to be super fast in locking the GPS position whenever you boot this up. So here you can see on the back side guys there are two jumper sides but the one jumper side which is marked with the arrow is non-usable so this side jumper you cannot use for the connection only the jumper side which is marked with uh, this pin diagram will be able to use also guys here on the top you have one power led and one PPS LED. PPS LED is on whenever it finds the GPS location lock accurately and the power LED is powered on whenever you power on this GPS module using your flight controller power circuit. So this is what you have and then you have an arrow to so that you know how to place this GPS module onto your drone frame and then you will be able to configure it depending upon the direction in which this arrow is facing into your flight controller. So these are the physical specification guys. Now let us quickly look at the technical specification of this Matexis M8Q5883 GPS module. So as you can see on the figure on the right side, here the input voltage is shown as 5 volt. It can take an input voltage ranging from 4 volt to 6 volt. As the internal interface works on 3.3 volt, it has an onboard voltage regulator of 3.3 volt. So anything between 4 to 6 volt is enough to power this uh, combo module from mid axis for GPS and compass. The RX and TX pin, as I told you before, guys is corresponding to the GPS module. The module is SAM M8Q and SCL SDA is the serial port or I2C port is corresponding to the compass module QMC5883L. So guys, these two modules which are now clubbed together into this small form factor has an output for GPS in TX and RX pin and output for compass module is from DA and CL pin. Battery for hot module boot as I told you guys there is a battery on the back end. This helps to keep the onboard memory alive for the last GPS location and the satellites that this module connected so as to get the connection faster the next time it is booted up. It has a 72 channel M8 engine for GPS, SBUS, QSIS, GLONASS and GALILEO. Out of this guys GPS, GLONASS and GALILEO are the primary satellites. GPS is for US, GLONASS is for Russia and GALILEO is for Europe and SBUS and QSIS are the supporting satellites so as to improve the accuracy of GPS and GLONASS and GALILEO together to get a better and accurate positioning from the corrections which are sent by SBUS and QSIS satellite. GPS, GLONASS, SBUS and QSIS are enabled by default so if you are in Russia or US this module is going to work just fine but if you are in Europe you need to enable Galileo as well so that your GPS module works fine. The blue LED blink is PPS means 3D fix. So here you can see guys there are blue LED and the red LED. Blue LED is when you get the 3D fix. 3D fix is basically guys when your GPS from the satellite is able to locate your GPS module perfectly in X, Y and Z directions. Red indicator is basically for your powers. So the baud rate for the connection, it supports a wide range of baud rate for the connection to data transfer and communicate between the flight controller and this GPS module which ranges from 9600 to 115200 which is supported by INAF, Betaflight and Adro Pilot. By default, I think the baud rate connection would be 115200. So 5Hz is the update rate or refresh rate for GPS and 10Hz is an update rate for compass module which is there on this Metexis GPS combo module. So here is something important guys. As you see here, there is an arrow right on the top of the GPS module. If this arrow is facing towards the front of your drone, then you need to configure 
your compass module as 270 degree flip as a configuration if it is facing towards the back side or the tail of your drone you need to use 90 degree flip for the compass so guys i will be doing another video on how to install this gps module onto your drone frame and also i will be doing another video on how to configure this gps module in your flight controller firmware in beta flight inav or adro pilot so that your gps module and compass module works perfect with your flight controller so ensure that guys you stay tuned to my channel so that you do not miss out on my future videos so guys with this now let us move on to the wiring diagram or connection on how to connect this gps module onto your flight controller so here guys as you can see my flight controller that i'm going to use on my drone is metaxis f765 wse i have already done the review of this flight controller on my channel guys if you have not seen that video guys i will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out so as per the connection goes guys here you can see you have the gps module on to the right with 5 volt ground rx tx da and cl so here on my flight controller guys you can see you have da1 cl1 tx2 rx2 4 v5 and ground as you know guys from the technical specification it can work right from the range of 4 volt to 6 volt i am giving here 4.5 volt so this should be fine enough to power this mid access so this 4 v5 and ground is going to power this module and then you have tx and rx for gps and da1 and cl1 for your compass module which is there on this matrixes gps module now let's quickly review the connection let's first connect the ground to ground 4v5 to 5 volt tx to rx of this gps module rx to tx of this gps module cl1 to cl and da1 to da of this gps module so this is how your wiring diagram goes to connect this gps module correctly to your flight controller in this video guys i am showing to connect it to my matexis flight controller but this is the general rule guys you can use this wiring diagram as a template to connect this gps module to any other flight controller as long as you are correctly identifying the ports for the serial port da to da cl to cl tx to rx and rx to tx and then power this up using 5 volt and ground which is coming out of your flight controller so as long as you are able to locate these pins onto your flight controller you will be able to connect this matrixes gps com compass module onto any flight controller so this is it guys with this we conclude this tutorial I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this video, please do not forget to hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I will try and answer as soon as possible. If you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching and clear skies.